And once you're finished, it ought to look something like this. And you can go ahead and save it. And then go to your background image. And you're going to file and place your cutout onto the image. And in this case, it almost places it exactly in the right place. I might resize a little bit. Right now, your picture is in what's called transform mode. And this allows you to resize and rotate if you want to, whatever you need to do. Once you're ready, you can press enter. And then of course, if you didn't quite get it all and you need to go back, you can command T to get back into transform mode, change that. It might be helpful at this point to change the opacity of your pig so you can see both images. Just going to try and line up the eyes a little bit. Okay. Another thing that we need to talk about is when you are choosing two pictures to use for this, you need to think specifically about texture. I've chosen two pictures, two animals that have got similar textures. Both of them have kind of short, straight hair, and that will be important when you are trying to morph these two together. Another thing that you want to look at is the lighting in these two particular pictures. There is no direct sunlight, so that's going to make it easier to morph them together in the end. But if you were to choose a picture where you've got some direct sunlight, like this one, the light is coming from up here and going down. So in your other image, if I was going to do a deer, then I would have to find a picture of a deer where the light comes from a specific, from that specific angle. Lastly, color. Color is an obvious problem here. If you don't find two pictures that, that have good color, that's okay. We can alter the color in Photoshop. It's just going to take a little bit of guesswork. So we'll be working on that in this video. All right, so might be important at this point to do any mask cleaning up that you need to. For example, I see a little bit of like muddy outer edge around the ear. So I'm going to create a new mask here for that. And remember that the mask is black. So if you're masking something, that's covering it up. So I'm going to choose the paintbrush with a black brush. And when I paint, it's going to cover. We need to talk about the hardness of the brush. If you right click, then you'll see this display that shows you how large your brush is and how hard your brush is. Right now it is as soft as it can be and you can change that by using the slider and we can check and see how hard if I take it to the hardest. There you go and you get these very distinct lines and that is not necessarily what you want to do because if you have hard lines like that it's gonna look like it's not real. And our goal here is to make it look real. The other thing is that I've got my opacity turned down really low. So you might wanna think about turning your opacity down a little bit lower so when you're working, it goes a little bit slower. I'm gonna get a medium hardness brush and you're gonna have to kinda mess with this and see what's gonna work best for you. That works pretty good. I'm also going to reduce the size with my brackets. Just adjust these um, settings as you need to, as you go around and do any cleanup that you need to do. You don't want to come right up to the edge and make some, some very solid lines around it. Like I said, you want to make sure that it stays believable and having this soft edge is going to help make it believable.